Hey there guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. In this episode we shall go after the Steel Uragan. The Uragan subspecies as you may have already predicted. So yep, bringing the trusty Plesioth gun lens along again because like the Uragan, the Steel Uragan is weakest to water. So let's do this. We are slowly encroaching on the end of this LP. Let's see, there are only... Uh... Five new monsters left to face. Uh, yeah, we have Steel Ur again. Let's see, then we have that one, and that one, and that one, and the final boss. And we all still have a one on one encounter with Devil Joe coming up. And a quest involving three of the toughest monsters around. Alright, there's the Steel Ur again. Let's go draw its attention, shall we? Yoo hoo, I'm over here. Pay attention to me. Alright, then this will do. There we go, now he's noticed me. Now, Steeler again, lives in the volcano like the regular one. And, once again, it's one of those subspecies that haven't really changed all that much. Oh crap. Now, that is one of the changes that the Steeler again has. Uh, remember how the regular again could also, like, expel that gas? It could expel the red gas, which pretty much did damage and gave you fire blight. And the blue one, which put you to sleep. Steel again only has one kind of gas, but it inflicts the soiled status on you. And it's not a very often seen status effect, but what it does is you can't use items anymore. Until it wears off. Unless, of course, you use a deodorant to get rid of it. Oh, you blocked it just in time. I don't think it was going to hit me anyway. But still, putting up the shield is better than getting stunned by the tremor. Oh, ah, oh, freaking vent. Oh, I hate those so badly. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's also one of the things the Steeler again will do. He will throw the rocks out and then immediately follow up with a chin slam. Ooh, perfect block timing once again. Immediately follow up with a chin slam to immediately blow the rocks up. Also, the rocks will also inflict the soiled status. And crap, it didn't reload fast enough. Eh well. So yeah, if you fight this guy, you'd better bring deodorants, because he still hits like a truck. And if you can't use potions, then you're gonna die real fast if you're gonna let yourself get hit a couple times. So do not let that happen. Ooh, rocks in my face, and blow it oh, crap. Yes, I was blocking, but my stamina meter ran out. And when your stamina meter runs out, you will automatically stop blocking. So that kinda sucked. Okay, this is not looking up. I need to heal. Fast. Damn it. Kayamba Cha Cha, heal me. Don't just whack him with your clubs. That's not gonna help out much. Oh. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. This armor has tremor resistance, of course. So why should I care about the tremors, then? Why do I keep forgetting all my useful armor skills? But yeah, as you can clearly see from this episode and many previous ones... The Volvodon high rank armor is freaking amazing. Oh crap, here comes the fart again. Oh well, tank it, no problem, and go and poke him again. Oh, he does it again? Well, he doesn't really do it that often, I think. But anyway, yeah, if you bring deodorant, then just... kind of retreat to a safe distance, and then poof it down and walk through the cloud and all your problems will go away. It will smell like a summer breeze, like a field full of flowers, like a pine tree or whatever. Like one of those pine tree air freshener things people have in their cars. Although I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other scents as well. If or if you hate the scent of pine tree, I would assume. I can't even remember what pine tree smells like, because I don't think they're that common over here, and I haven't been to the forest in freaking forever. More of an indoor kind of... Oh, nice. Did Kayamba do that? Anyway, attempt to blow up on his chin. That's what she said. No, wait, no, wait. That, does, that one doesn't entirely make sense. It, just scratch that one from the record book. That was not my best that's what she said joke. I will admit that much. Oh, is he leaving? Aww. Uh, okay, the stench... Oh, yeah, I used the deodorant. I'm not stinking anymore. So... Off we go to the next area. He's still kind of lingering around the entrance for some reason. 
Yep, he was waiting for me. Alright, throw the rocks out. Yeah, those are not going to be much of a problem over there. Alright, come on, this way, big guy. Oh, here comes the big chin slam again, and I don't care because I'm immune to tremors. That is a pretty good skill to have, after all. Oh, crap. Lock and load. Shields, nice. Perfect timing. Don't blow them up. Awesome. Just carefully move them. Oh, damn it. Okay, apparently the rocks can also equip... Uh, or equip, emit little stinky clouds that will also still damage you. So, oh, nice. I think Cha-Cha got a stagger in because Kayama's dead right now, so it has to be Cha-Cha. More points for Cha-Cha for being awesome. Oh, and as my reward, I shot him in the face. Sorry. Alright, come on. Give me your best shot. Oh, did he just smash through that Benahabra? Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, yeah, he threw the rock behind me in the shield when he protects me from the front. Clever bastard, this guy. Oh, crap. Just a millisecond too late. Oh, well. I'm still hanging in. Oh, crap. Oh. I need a potion. Oh, shit. No, this is bad. Run, run, run. Run like the wind. Deodorant. Come on. Poof, there we go. Now, Mega Potion before he rolls over and kills me or something. Okay, we're safe. Because I cannot handle any more... Oh, nice. Cannot handle any more deaths in this LP. Three has been enough. Hell, that's three too many, pretty much. Freaking Durambaros and Pink Raffian. Oh, well. At least I didn't die to any of the harder monsters. Like the couple that are coming up in the next episodes. Alright. Whale on his exposed tummy a little bit. So yeah, as far as the fight goes, he's really not at all different from the regular Urigan. The uh, stench attacks are pretty much all that's different. And he can so sometimes chain his rolls or the rock throwing into a chin slam immediately. That's really about it. I must say, though, I do like his color scheme. That's pretty good. Like the uh, the bright red chin. It's like he's been dipping it in lava over and over. And the kind of the, the bluish purple metallic shine it has. Kind of looks like uh, like metal that's just been dirtied or I think that's you call it oxidating or something. And it like iron or steel kind of turns bluish or purplish. Color scheme's not bad. Better than the regular one, in my opinion. But yeah, he even lives in the same area as the regular one. So really, this is one of the lesser imaginary, su imaginative subspecies. Right, now, the Glacial Ignactor, that was a good subspecies. Good design. Different location. Couple different moves. Different mechanics. That is pretty much the best subspecies in the game, in my opinion. Alright, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, the special move. Wait, he's not... Oh, there he is. Huh, the regular Urian always ends up on the other side of that cliff. But, yeah, that he still has that move, which he only does in this area. So, really, if you know how to fight the regular Urian, you know how to fight this guy. Alright, come at me, bro. See what you've got. Yeah, roll all you want. It's not gonna help you because it's fairly easily avoided. And oh crap, back, back, back. Yep, completely misses me. Awesome. Ah, oh, and then he knocks me down like that. That's lame. Oh, is he leaving? Yep, he's leaving. He's like, eh, I don't want to walk, I'll just roll. But honestly though, how the hell does he even pull that rolling off? It just looks really weird seeing a gigantic creature do that. It's like, he it doesn't really have the best surface for rolling either. I mean, look at how spiky his back is. That cannot be easy on his spine, I would assume. Why am I worrying about that? It's a freaking video game. It's a giant dragon, the likes of which has never existed. And nothing like it, either. And here he comes again, shield. Nice. Alright. Oh crap, you rocked or from below. I hate those guys so much. Oh well. Alright, go ahead and toss the rocks. Uh, okay, I guess he didn't toss the rocks. That's strange, he usually always throws them when he does that move. Oh well. Oh, nice. Way to go, 
my companions. No, you're rock door. You will not do that again. Was that his... Ah, oh, crap. I thought I broke his chin. Oh, well. That'll come eventually. That way I'll at least stop bouncing. Oh, nice. There he goes, his chin. Awesome. No more bouncing off his face now. So, yeah, breakable parts, still the same as the regular one. The chin, then you can break the tail, and then you can cut the tail off. Simple as that. And I need to heal. Real bad. No, you rock door, not again. Run, run, run. Yeah, sure, you just go roll over there. Alright. All healed up, come at me. Ah, damn it. Freaking tail always hits me. It always goes to the right when he finishes rolling, never to the left. They could have changed that up. Oh, jeez. Did not see that coming. Thought it was going to go to the other side. Oh, no. Oh, that almost hit me. That might have done me in if that hit me right there. That was really damn close. Anyway, heal, cool drink. Because there's always that. They always run out at the least fortunate moments. Oh, oh, crap, I thought he was going to roll straight ahead, but then he kind of veered towards the left. Oh, clever bastard, this one. It predicts where you're going. Nice. Alright, come at me. I will poke you in the... Or not, scrap. Why is the shield so slow to put up? That uh, lunging attack just has a lot of downtime afterwards. No, no, almost, you rock tour. You just keep trying. Maybe you'll get it sometime. Oh crap, oh, just in time, no, 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 of course, hate that move so badly, eh, I kinda wish I was just wearing my Steel Urigan armor right now, that is the next armor set you will see me wearing in this LP, the Steel Urigan armor, however, it is the G-Rank armor, and I will use it for pretty much the final few missions, because they are pretty damn tough if you just stick to high rank equipment because the steel again armor pretty much has an assortment of the best skills in the game for starter it has I think it has biomaster which makes you not only immune to slime blight which is Brachydeos's secret weapon and pretty much why the Brachydeos is such a difficult opponent but it also makes you immune to the stench Thing that the Steel Urigan and the Volvodon can inflict on you. So yeah, that is a great skill to have. Oh nice, there goes pieces of his tail. It also has the Mind's Eye ability, which means that you will never ever bounce off of a monster, no matter how low your sharpness is, which is also great. It has Artillery Expert, which makes your Gunlance shots a lot stronger. And a couple others, I think, that I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but I'm sure you'll see it when I actually don the armor to deal with some of the more difficult beasts in this game. Alright, he's going off to Area 4 to eat now. So let's make sure for it's going to be an unpleasant meal for him, shall we? Yep, he's going to go eat now. Eats rocks. Pretty sure rocks have no nutritional value whatsoever. I mean, come on, they're just soil, for crying out loud. I know it's kind of like a fantasy setting, but still. Every creature in nature needs to get its nutrients from somewhere, and there are no nutrients to be found in rocks. So I kind of wonder, maybe rocks isn't? Maybe this steel urgan and the regular urgan eat more than just rocks, but I don't think you, anything can grow this big on a diet consisting solely of rocks and soil and all that stuff. Also, that is why the uh, steel Urigan is steel instead of the regular Urigan. He has apparently been eating just lots of iron ore instead of regular rocks, which is why his armor is kind of metallic now for some reason. I'm not really sure how that works, but it's just like that and that's the way it is. Nice. Alright, I wonder how far done he is. Let's see, I broke most of his parts. All I need to do is just cut his tail off. Which may or may not happen right now. Because this is a pretty good opportunity for it. Come on, stab, stab, shot, come on. Keep it up. Oh, I need to sharpen again, damn it. Alright, just... Oh, sweet, he's limping already. Yeah, this shouldn't take much longer. Awesome. Alrighty, good to go again. 
Oh wait, I have to reload first. There we go. Now we're good to go. Alright, back to seven. Uh, yeah, as far as range, go movement range goes, he pretty much goes to all the areas that regular Uragan goes to. So that's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pretty sure they never go to three. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, what hit? Ah, oh, the Uroctor hit me again. I hate those things with a passion. Can someone just kill that Uroctor for me, please? Cha-Cha, Kayamba. Oh, Kayamba's off being dead, and now Cha-Cha goes away as well. Just perfect. Oh, oh, not gonna get me. He did smoke the Uroctor with that rock, though. Hey, there's Kayamba again. Come on, Kayamba, be useful. Do stuff. Throw bombs at him with your kitty mask or something. Oh, crap. Oh, come on, I was totally facing the right way now. Oh, not this again. Just poof, deodorant. Wait, why is my defense lowered? It's in the, uh, like, you can see my name in the top left. Like, the, the yellow thing with the red arrow pointing downward. That means a defense drop from something. But what caused that? The Urigan can't do that. It has to be something else. Pretty sure the Uroctor doesn't do that. Oh yeah, there's little green puffy smoke coming off of me. Uh, what caused that, I wonder? No idea. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I really don't remember what did that to me. But it'll surely wear off eventually. Also, I probably need to extend my stamina bar a bit more. Might allow me to block his attacks a little bit easier. Oh no. Almost ran me over, son. Keep trying. Maybe you'll get it next time. Also, get out of the freaking lava. Oh jeez. I didn't mean anything by it, just... It was just friendly advice. Oh, limping away again to area 6. Oh, I didn't get the tail off. And as far as finishes go, that wasn't really quite awesome. Kind of like poked him in the bum and he fell over and died. Oh well, let's see what we get from him. Like the regular Urgan, you can carve him four times. So we get a scale. And we get marrow. Ooh, I think that's fairly rare. Not bad. And what else? Another scale. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. And lastly, we get another scale. Are you kidding me? I think Urigan has a lot more drops than that. Also, look at that face. That is creepy as hell from the inside. Yikes. Look at those soulless dead eyes. Well, I guess they're supposed to look like that because the beast is dead now, but still. Oh yeah, thanks for the health recovery, Kayamba. That is really exceptionally helpful at this point in time. You are truly the greatest assistant ever. Alright, quest complete. We are cheering inside of a dead monster. Didn't know he was hollow on the inside. Alrighty, let's check out the rewards. Or again, Ruby, perhaps? Uh, don't think so. Just a whole bunch of scales and a carapace. Oh well. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.